Hi, it's Mark Swatka, the General Secretary of PCS, and I'm bringing you an update on the Union's national campaign to defend your living standards. Now, a number of weeks ago, we emailed all of our members in the public sector, and we asked you to go on the Union's website and use our pensions robbery calculator to find out how much you personally were being robbed of by the government due to their unlawful actions. And thousands of you have done that. And having done so, many of you have now contacted the Union to say, what are we going to do about this shocking state of affairs? So yesterday, your National Executive Committee met, we considered this situation, and we made a number of crucial decisions. Now, firstly, as a result of what we've already asked you to do, I need to report that over 70% of MPs have been contacted by a PCS member telling them about this shocking state of affairs. Our parliamentary chair, Chris Stevens, the MP, has had a parliamentary debate on your pay. As well as that, we have raised this with cabinet office officials in meetings about pay and pensions. But sadly, I have to report to you currently that none of them are listening. None of them are saying they're prepared to do anything about this shocking state of affairs. And that means next year, you and your family are in line to receive the single biggest reduction in your living standards any of us can remember. That's because with inflation running at 5%, with you overpaying 2% towards your pension, with the increase in national insurance, and following years of pay restraint, a failure of the government to even assure us that we will get the above inflation funded pay rise, next year looks to be even worse than the one we've just been through. So your National Executive Committee, listening to those of you demanding that we do something about it, made some key decisions. The biggest one of those is that early in the new year, we will be holding a consultative ballot of all PCS members in the public sector, asking you whether or not you're prepared to take industrial action. Now, a consultative ballot does not mean there will be a strike, but what it does mean is that you can give us the most ammunition possible to take to the government and tell them they have to think again. If you vote in tens of thousands in a large turnout to say you'd be prepared to take industrial action, we hope that that will force them to listen. If it still doesn't, then we would want to move on to a lawful legal strike ballot. But let's hope this consultative ballot gives you the opportunity in massive numbers to demonstrate your strength of feeling and the government will listen. So whilst we're building for that ballot, can I ask you to do a few easy things? Firstly, if you haven't been on our website, please go on it now, see how much you're being robbed and then contact your MP. The more MPs who get emails, the better. Secondly, look out for any events in your area, talk to your local rep and find out what else you can do. Thirdly, if you know a colleague who is not yet a member of PCS, urge them to join now. The more of us in the union, the stronger they will be. And while you're doing those things, we will be preparing for the consultative ballot. But we will also be talking to our colleagues in other public sector unions. Those representing nurses, teachers, local authority workers and many more to see whether they're prepared to join us, as many of them seem to be thinking about, to also have a broader campaign on behalf of all public sector workers. So listen, as we go in to Christmas, we need to say to you that we are not prepared to sit back and let this happen. So let's all stand together, join in, vote in the Conservative ballot, and let's force the government to do the right thing. You deserve nothing less. Thank you very much.